task is uh, the biggest as it can get 11 million people uh, uh, 1 million polling stations located on the all kinds of uh, the places on island which is closer to Indonesia and 1200 kilometers from Indian mainland on 16,000 feet in Ladakh in deep forest in uh, desert and we have to ensure that without zero without an error with zero error we reach there every time and obviously this will involve a huge cost but surprisingly we are able to deliver this exercise at the minimum possible cost the second uh, lowest costing election uh, will be uh, 20 times more than Indian election so we are able to do it because of uh, a lot of experience and uh, because of the manpower human resource we have to ensure that they are motivated at all times uh, they come with the spirit of patriotism they know it's a national duty they uh, feel that they are contributing to the success of democracy they're keeping uh, democracy on the rails with that kind of motivation and of course our checkpoints are that one that uh, 11 million people whom we select we uh, expect them to be totally neutral their neutrality is totally non-negotiable therefore proper selection in the first place we keep a dossier on them then even the uh, and then we invite political parties to give us their uh, the list of apprehension the people who uh, their fear will interfere with the process and we make a quick inquiry and then change them whether it is a chief secretary Home Secretary, the DGP, the DM or SP, doesn't matter. And we, uh, in some one case, we change our D as, as Chief Secretary, uh, Chief Home Secretary, DGP, all at one go in one big state, UP, uh, a few years ago, because neutrality is uh, non-negotiable, as I say. So we also do the after proper selection, we do randomization, which is the polling staff, the polling party of five. How do we select? Uh, out of the, the list that we have, we randomize till the last minute. Those five persons do not know which the team is. And till the last minute, they do not know which uh, polling station they will be visiting. On the eve of the election, we hand over the electronic voting machine and the election material and they reach the polling station. Uh, then uh, motivation uh, is uh, one big issue, um, uh, which is uh, our strong point. Our uh, employees do realize, we make them uh, understand that they are doing a great national service because keeping democracy on the rail is uh, not easy and uh, that is what they are doing. Uh, if, there, if the democracy is not functional, India's economy will uh, be into, in trouble, there will be all kinds of problems. So uh, keeping democracy the, the st steady and healthy is important and they realize that they are doing a national service. Which is why uh, in many cases, even the small honorarium that we give, we don't give them extra pay. They are all government servants. They get their normal salary, TADA. We give them a small honorarium. Every now and then we find somebody, a very junior school teacher to uh, Patwari, writing to us that he was so touched to be doing this national duty that he wants to return his honorarium. So in such a situation, uh, we are able to get the best out of our team and uh, proof is for everybody to see, which is why we got uh, international acclaim repeatedly. The, uh, uh, obviously, the, uh, to ensure a flawless election and uh, managing 11 million uh, election staff, we have to, our checkpoint number one is proper selection. We have to make sure that uh, only those who are honest, against whom there are no complaint from political party, there is no perception of uh, partisanship, there is no track record of their misconduct in the past, we select them. And even out of them, we randomize them uh, through a, a computerized system so that uh, there is a total objectivity.